जय गुरुदेव चिल्ड्रेन इन माई लास्ट वीडियोज वी ऑल वेंट फॉर अ वॉक टू द रिवर इजेंट इट इट वॉज अ ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस सेम पे योर फ्रेंड मनो हैज ऑल्सो गॉन फॉर अ वॉक विथ हिज ग्रैंड पा बट टू द बीच कम लेट एस आस्क हिज एक्सपीरियंस नाउ टेक आउट योर ग्रामर एंड लैंग्वेज स्किल्स बुक एंड ओपन पेज नंबर इलेवन worksheet number 3 reading children when i am reading what should you do you should point the finger to the sentence in your book okay a mean read this story now let us read the story if possible try to read along with me otherwise listen to me carefully manu goes for a walk on the beach with grandpa they walk on a soft yellow sand they look at the big blue sea then grandpa sits on the sand manu wants to sit on a big rock nearby suddenly the rock moves Eek! Manu shouts. He runs to Grandpa. He is scared. That's not a rock. It's a big turtle, says Grandpa with a smile. The turt, the big turtle, slowly walks to the sea. now we read it slowly so as to read the sentence without mistake but this time we shall read it to understand the story okay now we we are able to read the words no so we can read it little more faster and try to understand the story again point the finger to the first sentence manu goes for a walk on the beach with grandpa they walk on the soft yellow sand they look at the big blue sea then grandpa sits on the sand manu wants to sit on a big rock nearby suddenly the rock moves eek manu shouts he runs to grandpa He's scared. That's not a rock. It's a big turtle, says Grandpa with a smile. The big turtle slowly walks to the sea. Now, did you understand the story, children? It's nice, no? <laughs> He mistook the turtle as a rock, and Manu was trying to sit on it. <laughs> Now. let us try to answer the questions given over here complete these sentences with words from the story first one manu and grandpa go to the dash children whenever they give such small passage and ask us to read then answer all the answers will be in the passage only we just have to pick up the sentence read it and choose the word that we have to answer you understand now where did grandpa and manu go where is that sentence let us read the first sentence it says manu goes for a walk on the beach to grandpa so this is our answer so which word should we pick beach so write down the word beach so manu and grandpa go to the beach you understood now we shall look for the second answer grandpa sits on the dash now in the passage where is it now let us try to quickly read now see 1 2 3 4 5th uh, line just try the reading 5th line then grandpa sits on the sand so our answer is sand write down the word 
sand so we have to read the passage thoroughly and then pick the answers understood children third one manu wants to sit on a dash where do manu wants to sit where is that sentence ha ah, immediately after the word sand read the next sentence manu wants to sit on a big rock nearby so what is the answer rock write down the word rock got it next one fourth one manu shouts because he is dash where is this sentence in the passage now keep reading after rock then ek manu shouts yes he runs to grandpa he is scared you got to know how to search now underline the word scared and also write it down next one the rock moves because it is a big dash so where is this sentence in the passage that's not a rock it's a big turtle says grand grandpa with a smile so he's telling that the rock is moving because it's not a rock it's a big turtle underline the word over there and write down in the given blanks okay done got it children this way we need to read the passage carefully twice or thrice then pick the answers underline it over there then write it down in the right place understood children most of us get confused with tortoise and turtles now look at these pictures carefully and try comparing them tortoise live on land the shell is big and round in shape whereas turtles live in water the shell is small and flat the pronunciation is tortoise it's not tortoise it is tortoise see me rewrite the second sentence in each pair of sentences use he she it or they for the words in color first one amrita goes to the garden amrita waters the plant plants now they have asked us to replace the noun amrita in the second sentence with a pronoun so amrita is a girl what is the pronoun that we are going to use she yes so they have written the answer as she waters the plants like this we have to do the remaining second one where is the book the book is on the table now in the second sentence the word the book is in green color so we need to replace this noun with a pronoun so what is that we can use it yes it is on the table write down third one amal goes to the shop amal buys a pen now we have to replace the noun amal by a pronoun 
So what is that we can use? He is. For boy we use the pronoun he. Now we shall write he buys a pen. Fourth one. My parents are not at home. My parents are in the park. Now we need to replace the noun my parents. Now when we say parents, it means more than one. Right? So we have to use they. Correct? Write down they are at the park. Fifth one. Look at that elephant. The elephant has a tiny tail. Now, we need to replace the noun, the elephant, by the pronoun, it. Correct. So, we shall write, it has a tiny tail. Sixth one, Simi likes to play in the park. Simi goes to the park every day. Now, what is that we have to replace? The noun, Simi. Correct. So, what is the pronoun? She. Very good children. She goes to the park every day. Write it down. D main. Complete these sentences with the correct words from the box. The given options are He is, She is, It is, They are. First one. Mukul is my friend. He is six years old. First one is already done for us. So, we will move on to second one. Ali and Saif are not at home. Dash are at school. So, what should we fill in? What pronoun should we use? Ali and Asif. Asif. So, there are two people. So, we have to use they are. Yes. Write down the words they are. Okay. Next. There is an apple tree in my garden. Dash is full of apples. How many trees do we have? Only one. And apple tree. So what should we write? It is. Yes. Next. Sophia is making a sandwich. Dash hungry. Now who is hungry? Sophia. So Sophia means what should we use? She, yes, she is hungry. This is a butterfly. Dash, very colorful. It, yes, it is colorful. Rahul and Sara are coming to Kolkata. Dash, visiting us. There are more, there are more than one. There are two. Rahul and Sara, two of them are coming to Kolkata. So, what, should, what is the pronoun that we have to use? They, correct. They are visiting us. Pause the video, write down neatly and then move on. Children, look at this picture carefully and tell a few sentences about it. Quickly, if you can't, you can do one thing. You can pause the video, try framing sentences, then you can tell. That's okay. Okay, done? Yes. Now, when we are talking about this picture, generally when we are speaking, when we are listening to a story, how does the story begin? It generally says, once upon a time. That means, it is talking about a time, right? Now, when we are talking about this picture, what time would this, would this be happening? There is no clock over here, but how can we tell the time? Is there anything else that talks about time in this picture? Quick, think. Yes, you can see the sun. You can see the sun setting. So, it is evening. Good. And what else can you tell? Who is sitting on the chair? Grandmother. Grandmother is sitting on the chair. Where is she sitting? In front of her house and what is this boy giving he is giving flowers to grandmother very nice i can also see a small bird on the roof it might be singing 
when we are talking about uh, bird children we generally use the word chirping the bird is chirping okay next we can also see a coconut tree isn't it yes now they have asked few questions let us read them and try to answer okay look at this picture choose correct words from the box to complete these sentences now they have given four words let us read them first flowers house bird chair it is 5 o'clock in the evening what we guessed was correct the sun was setting and we told it might be evening so it is correct that it is 5 o'clock in the evening grandma is sitting out, outside the house now let us write down the word house h o u s e our guessing was right next she is sitting on a wooden where is she sitting wooden on a wooden chair true write down c h a i r chair manu is giving her dash what is manu giving flowers that's good next a dash is singing on the roof who is singing bird correct write down b i r d that's it life skills manu is visiting baga beach with his father manu is playing suddenly manu cannot see his father say what manu should do ask someone for help try to look for a policeman stay in the same place and wait for his father to find him or call out to his father loudly there is a situation now manu feels that he is lost so what can he do children you need not get scared this is just a story and manu is a character in this story okay so we'll just try to help manu find his father okay what can he do first he should call out to his father loudly maybe he is standing somewhere over the same place and he is not visible to manu so when he calls his father loudly he will listen to him and come to manu that's it otherwise second step is he can stay in the same place and wait for his father to find him his father might have gone to the nearby shop to buy snacks and some water for manu he will return soon so manu should not go away from that place he must be in the same place and wait for his father third step is he can try calling his father he can borrow somebody's phone and dial his father's number and find out where he is i am very sure manu's father would be in the same place and by now he could have met manu but if in case father has not returned manu can look for the policeman then tell them his problem and they will surely solve it you are all very good no children i very well know my children are very responsible they never leave their parents and go away they are good and they'll take care of themselves this was just a story that's it for today see you in next class jai gurudev